The Areopagus is a prominent rock outcropping located northwest of the Acropolis in Athens, Greece. Its English name is the late Latin composite form of the Greek name Arios Pagos, translated Ares Rock. Ancient Greek Arios Pagos. In classical times, it functioned as the court for trying deliberate homicide, wounding, and religious matters, as well as cases involving arson or olive trees. Ares was supposed to have been tried here by the gods for the murder of Poseidon's son Halorotheus, a typical example of an etiological myth. Topic: History. The origin of its name is not clear. In ancient Greek, Pagos Pagos means big piece of rock. Arios could have come from Ares or from the Aranyas, as on its foot was erected a temple dedicated to the Aranyas where murderers used to find shelter so as not to face the consequences of their actions. Later, the Romans referred to the rocky hill as Mars Hill, after Mars, the Roman version of the Greek god of war. Near the Areopagus was also constructed the Basilica of Dionysus Areopagites. In pre-classical times before the 5th century BC, the Areopagus was the council of elders of the city, similar to the Roman Senate. Like the Senate, its membership was restricted to those who had held high public office, in this case that of Archon. In 594 BC, the Areopagus agreed to hand over its functions to Solon for reform. He instituted democratic reforms, reconstituted its membership, and returned control to the organization. In 462 BC, Ephialtes put through reforms which deprived the Areopagus of almost all its functions except that of a murder tribunal in favor of Heliaia. In the Eumenides of Aeschylus, 458 BC, the Areopagus is the site of the trial of Orestes for killing his mother Clytemnestra and her lover Aegisthus. Phryn, the Hetira from 4th century BC Greece and famed for her beauty, appeared before the Areopagus accused of profaning the Eleusinian mysteries. One story has her letting her cloak drop, so impressing the judges with her almost divine form that she was summarily acquitted. In an unusual development, the Areopagus acquired a new function in the 4th century BC, investigating corruption, although conviction powers remained with the Ecclesia. The Areopagus, like most city-state institutions, continued to function in Roman times, and it was from this location, drawing from the potential significance of the Athenian altar to the unknown god, that the Apostle Paul is said to have delivered the famous speech, Now what you worship as something unknown I am going to proclaim to you. The God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth and does not live in temples built by hands. Areopagus Sermon Acts chapter 17 verse 24 The term, Areopagus, also refers to the judicial body of aristocratic origin that subsequently formed the higher court of modern Greece. <laughs> <laughs> modern references The English poet John Milton titled his defense of freedom of the press, Areopagitica arguing that the censors of ancient Athens, based at the Areopagus, had not practiced the kind of prior restraint of publication being called for in the English Parliament of Milton's time. The Areopagus Society, formed in 1893, is one of the oldest clubs at the Preparatory Hotchkiss School, Connecticut, USA, and meets to debate on certain topics. Topic. See also. Areopagus Sermon Areopagus of Eastern Continental Greece, a regional Greek administration during the Greek Revolution of 1821, which was named after the ancient Athenian institution. Footnotes Further reading The Constitutional Antiquities of Sparta and Athens by Gustav Gilbert. Pantalogia by John Mason Good, Olynthus Gregory, Newton Bosworth. p. 565. The London Encyclopedia, Volume 2. Edited by Thomas Curtis. p. 
647. Topic: External links. Acts chapter 17 verses 16 to 34, a biblical account of Saint Paul discussing with the Areopagus the nature of the Christian God. Also referred to as the story concerning the altar to the unknown god. Athens Photo Guide